Good luck down there. Hey, Tifa, stay with us. I'll go get the others. Cloud? You remember how our parents used to tell us that when a person died, their spirit would cross Mount Nebo? Yeah. We all knew it was a story to scare us out of climbing the mountain. You believed it, though. I didn't. At least... I had my suspicions, but I buried them. I wanted it to be true so badly. I didn't want to think my mom was just gone. Plus, Emilio and the others said they'd help me find her, so up the mountain we went. Some help they were, running off and leaving you out there? Not that I knew about any of that. You don't remember? <laughs> I hit my head pretty hard when I fell off that cliff. I think it messed with my memory. Everything from around that time's a blur. I only knew what the others told me. It didn't even occur to me to question them. What'd they tell you? They said that you egged me on. <laughs> but now I know that's not what happened at all. When the rest of them ran, you were there for me. You stayed when I needed you most. If that's not a hero, then I don't know what is. I'm no hero. What kind of hero falls off a cliff with the person he's trying to save and pushes him into a pool of Mako? Sometimes, I don't even know who I am. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine. And know things I've got no right knowing. It's like there's different people inside of me. And the worst part is, I can't even tell where they end and I begin. Go on. Soldier cells degrade. I think that's what's happening to me. That I'm falling apart. That's not going to happen to you. You saved me before. Now it's my turn. Little old me. <laughs> I that's right. Worried. Come on. Sorry. So basically, we got some nasty looking black whispers going up against the planet in the life stream. And these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah, at least that's how it looked to me while I was in there. And any idea who was winning? Could you tell? The planet, the life stream, us. 
Well, of course we are. What did you expect? This is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that, her rallying cry. She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy, and that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? We need to commit, put our lives on the line to save hers. You in? Yeah. You bet we are. <clears throat> huh? Wow. What have I walked in on? You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home of planetology. It's right around the corner, isn't it? And do they have materia there? Because <laughs> if they do, I am in. Like, all in. <laughs> Since time immemorial, it has been a place for both planetary energies and ancient wisdom. Of course we... Say no more! Let's ride, people! Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, Red. What's got you so excited? I grew up there. <laughs> that settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. He can take you part of the way. Use the south gate and follow the trail. You can't miss it. And I should... <laughs> this here is Fango. He's taking quite a liking to you. Sure he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Thanks, Cisne, for everything. The pleasure was all mine. And if you need anything else, just ask around the village. You know, we should probably take a look this at the town notice board. See if there are any jobs for us. Always fancy trying my hand as a mayor. It's no time to dig around. <laughs> I just want to fill my way. Help my pals out when I can. Notice I the swear. helmet, Stone. Think we can do without your kind of help, you shimmer bootlicker. Still can't find it in your heart to trust me, eh? <sighs> the way we snuggled up last night, I thought we'd made a breakthrough. <clears throat> I only did that because I thought you were Marlene. Don't go making it weird. Flyer pilots, exactly. Well, since the Republic's on the strap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less, though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. And our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. Let's do this. Gotcha. gotcha. That's it. Come on now. You're done. Let's do this. Going in. You ready?
Looks like we found the airstrip. Or what's left of it. Yeah, it's definitely seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, on a public telephone booth, eh? What the wee look? Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow, what do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane! Follow the smoke! Come to me! 
to me. To me. Airplane. Airplane, follow, follow the smoke! The smoke. <laughs> well, I'll be dead. Hold tight, speed things up. <laughs> Over here! Seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Oh, too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Got to make sure my baby's balanced just so. <laughs> Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out, you're on your own. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> Worried about 
stop flying around in the open like this. What if Shinra sees us? Shinra don't own the skies. Shitheads couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. We're getting pretty close now. Yep, bringing her down. as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. The veil's this way.
back. sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. It really is you. 
<laughs> we were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me! Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon.